Hello and welcome to the second episode of the Heart Hook Home Video Crochet Podcast. This is my friend Sarah and we are here with two separate unboxing packages. I'm very excited about this. This is yarn that I ordered weeks ago and I have not been able to use it yet. It's been sitting in the corner looking at me all sad and lonely. And we have a brand new package from Mary Maxim and I am super excited about that one, right? gonna sit here and hug it. <laughs> Neither one of us have ever used Mary Maxim's yarns before and they sent me, I'm very excited, they sent me a collection of their own yarns, right? So they do have other yarns available on their website that I noticed. They have the Ogos and they My have brand, Bernat. Brand. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, if we get to sample their in-house brands, I'm very excited for that. I'm excited to touch it, to see the fiber content, to see the yardage, get some smell inspiration. It. Yes, we're gonna smell <laughs> it. You gotta smell the yarn. So first things first, we're going to open up this box here. This is a box from We Crochet. Um, this is my monthly box that I order every month I order different yarns that I'm planning on using in upcoming designs or updates to designs which I have coming soon um, to the blog I have the easy peasy sweater that is being updated to include various sizes from extra small up to 5xl and that should be ready by the time this podcast is airing if it's not it's going to be within the next couple of days but I'm very excited about that that yes. pattern it's been up on the blog for a long time and the thing that I don't like about that one is that that it does go off of body measurements, which is fine, but it leaves a lot of room for error. So yeah, just updating, making it fresh, making it clean. And it's it's really great if you're making it for a, another person as well, right? Because you can't always just walk up to your friend and measure them, you know, like <laughs> a little awkward. Right? Can I get your hip measurement? Like, no, you can't actually. All right, so let's open up this wee crochet box. And be very careful, as always, when you're cutting open yarn, which I'm kind of surprised they put that in a bag, to be honest, because we're going to have to cut it open carefully, you know. But I don't I think mean, I've ever ordered yarn that hasn't fun. come in a bag. It'll be fun. I've gotten bags from Lee Crochet. You have? Yes. Okay, well, there we go. I guess when you're not ordering piles. Oh, come on now. It's a thin box. Look how thin this box is. Just saying. Look, look. Just saying. Look at this. Sit down. This is a pretty thin box. If you order less than 20 stains, they give you a bag sometimes. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> okay, so in here I have a lot of Brava Worsted. Brava Worsted is my favorite worsted weight mm -hmm. yarn. Um, I just love the way it feels, the sheen. I ordered some of this avocado colorway because I love it. I mean, I like the crusty mustard color, you know, when mm -hmm. you let your mustard dry and it gets that dark yellow. I mm -hmm. love that. I love the baby poop. Anything yeah. retro, would you call it vintage? It's vintage, Like yeah. 70s? Yeah. Yeah, those are my, that's my jam. So I did order some of these. I'm just going to toss them over here. Really? Give me one to... Oh, you want to, you want to touch just it? Just touch it. <laughs> like you haven't used it. I know. But it's so soft and I love the price of them too. I know. Because they're so cost effective. Right. They really are. And they have the big 500 skeins, mm -hmm. which I have one over there. I should have brought that. Um, that are over a thousand yards. And they're only what? Nice. They're like 10, 10, 12? 12, something like that. Some... Good. Nice. I mean. Nice. Yeah. Just wait until the easy peasy post is updated. Mm -hmm because I got a surprise for you. So I have some black as well. I don't know what I'm going to use for these, but I figured I ordered six skeins of each, and which ends up being around 1,300 yards. And I'm thinking 1,300 yards is enough to make something. I mean, a baby blanket only takes what, 1,100? I don't know, you're the designer. Ish, no. Ish right? <laughs> Depending on the stitch you use, obviously. Right. Um, but I figured 1,300 yards would be enough to make most sweaters mm -hmm. or, you know, a smallish cardigan. So yeah, 1300 is a good median range for me. I'm just going to throw these continually um, as we go. Okay, now I did order, let's see, I got some four of these Dishy 100% cotton and I love the Dishy cottons. I just love this cotton because it has a great sheen to it and it doesn't pill as badly as some other cottons we know and love, yeah. right? Um, especially, now I do notice that it's 
it shrinks a little bit, but I mean, it's also 100% cotton, so what do you expect? Right. Right? But I did order four of these. It's for a project that I have in mind. I don't know necessarily that I want to share that with you quite yet because I don't know how it's going to turn out and I don't want to, you know, commit jinx to it. something, right? I don't want to commit don't to something. It. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we do have four of these skeins, which I believe is around the same yardage as one cone of dishy. Is it? I think the dishes are the cones are like 760. Don't quote me on that, but so yeah, okay, which mix and match in colors so mm -hmm. that could be a good thing. Okay, okay, let's look at this black and white. So uh, I know I'm yes. excited about this one. Yeah, okay, go ahead and give me one of those. Yeah, take that. Um, <laughs> take that. Take it. I um, <laughs> keep all the whites. Okay, um, let me put okay. I just need to get some, some leverage here. Okay, we have this Swish DK, which is a lovely, lovely DK weight. So it's a size three baby weight, um, mm -hmm. super wash merino wool. And I got six black and six white. And what I'm hoping to do with these mm -hmm. is a houndstooth vest. It's gonna be fabulous. Yes, you know the ones where you have like a white button up underneath and then the white and black um, hound's tooth vest on top. It's going to be amazing. I probably shouldn't have told you that because if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. <laughs> but, but I, this is going to work this and it's going to be amazing. It is. Yeah. Yes. I just need, and I've never actually crocheted the hound's tooth stitch before, which I mean, it'll, it can't be, be that bad. Yeah, it'll be, it'll fine. be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be good. It'll be really good. I'm very excited for this. I did order more yardage than I think I need, but I mean, okay. I'll always find, maybe we could do a matching hat. Ooh, hey, even better. Oh my goodness. Ear warmer? Yes. Boot cuffs. Oh, look at oh. you. <laughs> Hounds too for everyone. <laughs> okay, this one is the Stroll Fingering Weight in the Guppy Tonal Colorway. So this is a size pretty. one. Yeah, it's pretty. It's got a really nice uh, variation of color to it. Yeah. 75% fine super wash merino wool and 25% nylon. And what I, why, why did you order this? Um, the gloves. Possibility of gloves. We were thinking mm -hmm. about, which leads me to the rest of what's in the box. <laughs> oh, there's another swish. So what else is in the box is this Galileo. Look at that. Um, I've ordered four of these because I wasn't sure. Here, I only got one more. We'll talk about this in a second. Let me get this box off my lap. Um, I ordered this Galileo Sport Weight. Can you see how beautiful this purple is? Look at that. Isn't that like, oh my goodness. I know it's delicious, isn't it? It's gonna be fabulous. So I ordered this Galileo Sport Weight. This is obviously a size two yarn. This is a 50% merino wool, 50% viscose from bamboo. So bamboo wool, right? Mm -hmm. This is a bamboo nylon. Is that what I said? Yes. Yeah. So this is a size no, one. Wool, wool yes, wool, wool nylon, yeah. thank you. This is a size mm -hmm. one, this is a size two. I, did, I got both of these because I want to try gloves mm -hmm. and I got them because they have a wool content in it to a certain degree because those will repel water mm -hmm. if we're using them for gloves. And I'm debating, I'm not sure, obviously this is a thinner yarn so it's going to take a lot longer to work up. That'd be so pretty. It would be pretty but it'd take forever. And this, I mean look at the color oh, of that purple, okay, isn't that fabulous? Yep, take it. It's Fabulous, isn't it? I just love the sheen of that. It's just gorgeous. It's got that vibrancy. Oh, I just love it. So for being a wool, it's actually extremely. It's not a huge difference. Well, that's true. Yes, you wanna show them? I can't. <laughs> See the See, size of that? They come closer with my short little dinosaur arms. I mean, there's not a huge no. difference in size between the two. No. I mean, you're looking at a one and a two weight yarn. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you know, there's not a huge difference. Yeah. It's going to take a long time either way. Either way. Either way. So we're talking maybe a few stitches difference. Yes. Okay. Well, maybe we'll do, you know, and even if we don't use this for gloves, we could still use it. I mean, there's 462 yards. Mm -hmm. That would make a perfectly fine scarf yes. or a shawl or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's something Tunisian. Ooh, maybe. But that's, I mean, that's a lot of yardage. So yeah, we yeah. went with the wool blend. Yeah, repel water and warmth. warmth. Yeah, yes. And I'm I'm really hoping to get 
fingered gloves out of this. I want to mm -hmm. make a pattern. What is that for? I wanted to make a pattern with fingers actually on there because I have, I don't know, half a dozen maybe. I don't know if that, that many gloves. fingerless or texting gloves, mm -hmm. which are all fine and dandy. But on my walks in the morning, it's starting to get really cold. And I got some of those cheapy gloves from Dolan's, the ones for like a dollar that fit everybody, you know, which is fine. But I want to make some too. I've never yeah. made one with, with fingers on them before. You don't see a lot of crochet versions. You really don't. Of fingered gloves. You don't. And that's also part of the reason that I ordered such a thin weight yarn mm -hmm. because I don't want something worsted or bulky. Bulk. Yeah, you're just like, like walking around like, meh, 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 you know. <laughs> <laughs> like a crab. Meh, meh, meh. Like you can't even do anything. I love the texture. Of I love the texture. Too. And, you know, for a wool blend, that is it's pretty soft. soft. It's pretty soft. It is. It doesn't, it's not scratch. Well, any of the wools that we've got here. None of them feel kind That's of have true. that scratchy. And that's true. We have feel. the Swiss DK, mm -hmm. which is 100%, and it doesn't have a super. <clears throat> well, it's merino, so. Well, well, but it's got a it's got a great feel to it, it too. Does. Um, yeah. I mean, we've got three different wool blends here, and not a one of them have that little no, wool like, scratch like factor. I would wear any of these up next to my face. Yes. Yeah. Assuming you're not a. I'm allergic to wool. Okay, the last thing that was in this box, uh -huh. I actually pulled out these shorts. <laughs> the last thing that I have in this box is my comfy worsted weight mm. cotton blend. This is a 75% Pima cotton and 25% acrylic. It's a worsted weight, the softest cotton ever. It has to be the Pima in it, right? Oh yeah. But I made, I don't remember if it was, what was that? It May? Was, it was summer. Uh, May ish. I, I made to wear these shorts when you're done. <laughs> it's gonna be January. I'm gonna be walking around in these shorts. <laughs> but I made this pattern for these staycation shorts, which are not completed, obviously. That's why I had to get the last skein. But I made this pattern and it's got this lacy bit at the bottom, right? Which is super cute. Well, I ran out of yarn, so I don't have a lacy bit on this leg. Can you see that? So I'm gonna have to put the lacy bit on this leg and then just the band on the top. And that's all I had left. But this has this colorway of this yarn has been out of stock. Because it's gorgeous. Because it's flipping gorgeous. But I I yeah, I've been waiting to order this. It's been on back order. So gonna finish these up. I will finish these shorts and show you a picture. I'll just probably post a fresh picture of it, you know. Um show you the completed you know, version. Just take a picture while you're on a walk wearing them with your oh. new finger gloves. Oh, <laughs> Be like, what in the world? <laughs> That's just Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> she, can't, her. she can't help herself. <laughs> I crocheted it. Okay, so are we ready? Are we ready? Oh, for the Mary Max. I'm so heavy. excited. Is it? So Let's heavy. see. I feel like I should, but that is heavy. There's some good weight there. That is. Okay. Super I am really excited. Okay, I have scissors here if you want to use the scissors. I'm very excited. Yeah, yeah we're gonna need the scissors. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. super. All right, but you cut that yarn. Don't you worry. <laughs> it's in another bag too. Oh well, that's nice. Oh, so, I'm excited. I'm glad they included that. Okay, well, this is gonna be awkward if we try to show you. Um, it up on right, the, we can show you this. I mean, <laughs> It's it's nice. it's crammed in there. It is. So let's pull these out um, and just talk about the different yarns that we've got. I've never seen this yarn before. I've never touched this yarn before. We did do a little bit of research before we started this video. Um, Mary Maxim is an online and catalog sale um, company. They have a lot of different arts and crafts. Um, they do ship internationally. Mm -hmm. um, which is good because I know some other uh, retailers do not. Um, what else were we thinking? Ship internationally. They had pretty good prices they for did. their yarns. Yeah. Um, pretty comparable, I think, to We Crochet's Brava. Mm -hmm. And we did a, we looked for their own brand of yarn and we sorted <clears throat> for prices low to high. And they started regular price at what, $249, was it? Somewhere around there. So for a baby weight yarn, I don't think that's too bad. It's not bad at all. No, it's not. Well, and even on sale, they had some that was like a right around the $2. Right. As like well. $4 off. <laughs> Bulky this. weight. Bulky this is weight. one that I wanted to try. I know you did. Okay, this is Titan Bulky Weight. I'll show you this. K 
Okay, let me see if I can find the information on this yarn label. How many yards does it have? It is a 100% acrylic, three ply bulky weight, 80 yards, which is pretty standard for a bulky right. weight skein. I'm excited it about this. It nice. doesn't, yeah, it doesn't feel. It feels nice. It feels nice. It's, it's tightly, it. it's tightly woven. Very, yeah. Isn't it? It's got for a nice spun. tight spin on it. Mm -hmm. This would be enough for what, one chunky beanie? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, depending maybe. on the size, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right, we got the Starlet. Starlet. Worsted. Worsted. How many yards is it? 180, I believe I saw. Ooh, here's another Titan in a different colorway. Ooh, look at you. Ew. Brizo as uh, what? Teal Heather. I'm reading it upside down <laughs> and in Spanish. <laughs> it's Teal Heather. Anywhere. Isn't it beautiful? I like that colorway though. So what, really if we, what if we um, put them together? Yes, what if we did like a yes. color work beanie? Mm. Or even mm. a scarf. Okay, I feel like we should organize scarf. these. We do need a men's scarf. We do. We really do. Okay. Um, I'm going to okay. keep all the leaves together so that if we've got another colorway. Right. Okay. So here's your worsted. Okay. Oh, that's soft. Isn't it soft? That is soft. It How many yards nice. did you say? 180 yards. Not bad. Here's a blue. Ooh. Ooh. Another blue. Yes. That's a pretty blue. Just a, oh, here's a green. Same thing, but nice. green. Denim. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. What else we got in here? Oh, there's another one. That white is a starlet. Oh, is it? Uh huh. Oh, or cream. Cream. Natural. That'll all look. That'll look that good together. That would all look nice together. Yeah, let's put all four of these together. That would make a really cute little baby blanket or mm -hmm. something, wouldn't it? Here's another. Oh, there's yellow. And yellow. Well, heck yeah! Look at all these. Okay, well let's. I'm liking that. Let's do that. I like how they're, they're kind of maybe not muted is the right word, but they're. They're the kind of earthy tints. The yellow is a little bit brighter. A little I bit. like it. But it's not like super in your face, right. you know, which is nice. Okay. I don't see any more. At least not on top. But we do have. Oh, I am a sucker uh, for the tweed. that. Yes, I am too. a sucker for tweed. Irish tweed. Aaron Irish tweed. 205 yards. yards. That's not bad. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> I wonder if there's nice. another one in there to I don't, put up next to it. I wonder if you could pair this well with another, is that showing very well? Um, I wonder if you could pair this with one of the complementing colors in there, like I'm the sure gray or the dark. I think that would look really nice. I'm sure you can. And this is soft too. It is. It's very soft. 98% acrylic, 2% viscose. Not bad. Mm -mm. Okay. Oh, I know. I know. It. Yeah. That's pretty. Prism. Hunky? Prism? Chunky. Chunky. My finger was in the way. It's it's prism hunky. <laughs> oh. oh my God. That is nice. extremely soft. It is. That is extremely the soft. And look at the colors so on that. Beautiful. That's very nice. It's I like that a lot. Mm, that's my jam. Right I like there. that. 60 yards and it is 100% acrylic. I would not have guessed that. That is my jam. Those are all my colors. In right rain there. shower. Are you confiscating this one? I might. What could you do with this? I for just sixty yards. Hang it on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look at it. <laughs> I'm just gonna look Every at it like all my other pretty yarns. <laughs> okay. Mellow spun ultra decay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a 70% acrylic, 30% nylon, 174 yards. Not bad. This is a good sheen to it. It does. Or a nice feel. I like is that. there another one? I'm yes. Sure there is. What's that I blue there? Man, these are. They hooked you up, they, girl. They sure did. They absolutely they? hooked you up. Look oh my that. goodness. Oh, those blues look nice right? together. I'm not really a blue person, but those blues together. You know who is a blue nice. person? I, Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Those are nice. I really like that. That's got a good feel mm -hmm. to it, doesn't it? It does. I like it. Nice DK weight. What do we have? There's some sparkly we business. We got some Baby's Best. We got a white, sparkly oh. white, and then just a nice mellow yellow. This is what we were looking at. This is the cheapest thing that they had. It is, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it was the one mm -hmm. that was the, when we priced it low to high. So I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it has a very um, prominent sparkle strand going through it. It's really pretty. It is pretty. It's a it's probably 70 hard acrylic, to see. 30 nylon. It's a DK number two weight yarn. So this is the same thing, but it's not sparkly. Mm -hmm. So apparently you can get it either sparkly or not sparkly. That's a or pretty nice, either way. nice yellow. It's really soft. It's pale. I, 
all of it so far has been really nice to touch and mm -hmm. just very pleasant. It smells good. <laughs> I mean, we got another yarn. bag. Yeah, we got another bag. Cut this open. I mean, I was just going to tear into it. I know. You be all uh, we are savages. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Baby oh, value. See, Ooh. I that that's one thing that I'm really mm -hmm. interested in. When I receive new yarn from a company I've never ordered from before, I'm always very excited to see their value yarns. Like, how value are their value mm -hmm. yarns? You know what I mean? Ooh, mm, I'm excited about that. <laughs> We've well, got this baby value. <laughs> Where'd that yarn go? <laughs> she said, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this bad boy right here is 342 yards. That is nice. Huge. That's, that's a nice. lot. Um, Baby Value, 100% acrylic, size four. It does seem to be a bit thin to me uh, for a size four. Eh, a little bit. Maybe a smidge. But I do, I mean, it's pretty. It's got a good it's sheen to pretty. it, it feels good. I'm gonna read the, I was about to read it in French. Look at me. This is the good bag. Okay, this is, this is the, the good bag. This is the really, really <laughs> good bag. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty. That's, that's pretty. Artist palette. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? What is it? What? Um, let me see here. It says size three. It is 100% acrylic and 396 yards. Girl, <gasps> they oh. know you. Oh my gosh. This is yours, know, this is and this mine. is mine. This Look, is mine. she's she's the blues and the purples, and I'm this mustardy. <laughs> that's Isn't fabulous. that gorgeous? That's, Look mm. at that. I want, I don't know, a cow. cowl? I can't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> you look so excited. Oh, oh ooh, there's another one. Ooh, that mm. would go really well as like a baby blanket. It would. That's or it adorable. would go really well with my blue as a... <laughs> We'll talk. We'll talk. <laughs> Just this saying, is fabulous. That is fabulous. Three hundred and ninety-six yards. That's crazy for it's holy a three -way. moly! It must be. Yeah. This is beautiful, and that is a great. You know, this is uh, almost just a baby. It's mute, muted. Not muted, it's, but... Well, it's almost pastel. a... Pastel. Yeah. A version. Ding, ding, there's the word. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's beautiful. I really like fabulous. that. I really like that. I don't know what this is going to be, but I'm going to be wearing this it's at gonna some point. It's going to be fabulous. Point, whatever it is. What yes. is... Oh. You okay? I thought I lost <laughs> it. It's like, where did my blue go? <laughs> Where's my blue baby? <laughs> That's nice. That is nice. It reminds me a little bit of why can't I remember Barcelona? The, very yeah, Barcelona. There's some other brands. Um, the the puzzle. Yes. Premier yarns puzzle. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what you're and thinking. And then there's of. a a Brett. Is it Brett? C. I can't remember. The name. I can never remember it. There's another yarn that's very. Is similar. it not the Isaac Misbra or whatever? I don't know. That you're thinking no. of that's at Michaels. No. No. Okay. This is a size five yarn. It's, let's see. It's, it is pretty. I like the color play on it. It's very nice. Um, so we've got a size five berry blast colorway. It is 270 yards, nice. which for a bulky weight, that's a pretty good size. It is. Skein. I like it. I like it. Oh, those are gorgeous together. Men's scarf right here. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, it's the Woodlands. What's the content? Woodlands, remember. let's see. It is 10% alpaca, 90% premium acrylic, and it's 200 yards a piece. Those colors are beautiful they together. Are. We've got that tan and that beautiful olive green color. Those are beautiful. This is the, where, why is that? Why am I only reading this in French? don't know. Moss. It's the moss. What do you say? Down here. Okay. And this one is the beige heather. Those are really pretty together. And that's enough yardage to actually make like a decent yeah. scarf or something. Oh, that blue is beautiful. Where are you guys? Never again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here's what do we the have alpaca. Here? Natural alpaca. That is soft. Isn't it soft? It's got a good halo to it though. I've got, it's got some. Let me hold I wonder it up how here. frogs. Mm, 
Yeah, frog test. We just, we'll just have to not frog, right? So we've got Cool Stream here, and this is raw cotton. These are, let me see here, 77% acrylic, 20% alpaca, 3% viscose, and they are 262 yards of goodness. I like these. These are really nice. Mm -hmm. I really like the colors on this blue. That teal, yeah. it's beautiful. It's mine. Oh my goodness. I know. Oh yeah. my gosh. Hold it, hold it. just hold it, because it's, it's nice. That is nice. So these are 290 yards a piece, 100% acrylic. Look at the colors. I mean, oh my That's gosh. pretty. When you get it up in the light, isn't that beautiful? Oh that reminds me of like cookies and cream oh, or yes. something. That's beautiful. Cream brulee. Mm -hmm. mm. Making me hungry. No, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> that, this, this one though, this is beautiful. I love that. Mm. That's very nice. I bet Wild these orchid. might not be the mm. best to frog either though. It almost makes me think of the Red Heart Unforgettable. Unforgettable, I was gonna say that But too. it doesn't look as it's thick bit, and thin. Right, and that's what I do not like mm -hmm. about the Unforgettable is the thick It is, thin. I mean, it's, sometimes you're crocheting and it's like a bulky weight and then I'll, like then 10 stitches all, later, it's a fingering, yes. like it's ridiculous. This is nice. This is nice. And it looks consistent too. And it's got that, that quality of being spun, but not 100% spun, mm -hmm. you know? Like it's a little, I, I really like that little cashmere halo it's got down. Yeah, nice. I like it. I like that. That's going to be pretty. Okay. Hand wash, lay mm -hmm. flat to dry. I mean, I can deal with it because it's really pretty. Right. And that's all the yarn. <laughs> I make friends. Let's have a moment of silence. But. <laughs> so we've got the catalog. They the catalog. do have. Yeah, they do have. Um, I believe I've gotten their catalog for a while now. Have you? I think so. But I love, wow, love it, love it. I am excited. I am gonna excited. Be I'm most excited. What are you most excited about on all Ooh. of these sitting here? Oh my goodness. The, the I'm excited for the Tweeties. These little I Tweet babies. Too. Yes. I just, I'm excited about the alpaca in it. The woodland too was really nice. Where'd that go? Mm, this one? Yes. For the men's scarf. That has a great feel to it. And I think that 10% alpaca. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised it, it, nice. the color of it almost reminds me, or it almost makes me think that it would have a wool content in it a little well, bit. Alpaca. I know, but like more than just 10%, right. you know? Yeah. But that's kind of nice for it's people nice. that have an allergy to wool. Mm -hmm. So soft. But this one here, this is. Mm. This is good. This, this is, is really nice. nice. I really like this. Don't know what I'm going to use it for. These yet. were pretty amazing too. Yeah, and I love how they included different colors as well. So yeah. you can kind of get an idea of the color palette and kind of, you know, piece them together and go from there. That is going to make a beautiful. How many yards is this? Wasn't it like 300 something? It was a lot. It was 396 yes, yards. This would make, yards. yeah, four, basically 400 yards. This would make mm -hmm. an excellent baby blanket. This artist palette. Is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I like it. I do too. I like it a lot. Really, I don't. There's nothing here that I don't like. Right. I agree. I agree. Well, this was fun. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. I'm really excited. I am very to, excited. Like, what are we gonna make first? I don't know. We can, should. Can, what? Like, no. <laughs> Let's make something else. She's like, I didn't bring my hooks. <laughs> Dana, I'll use yours. <laughs> Okay, there is um, one more thing I wanted to show you before we sign off today. Um, I have been working on making my dandy dog sweater. It's one of the most popular patterns on the blog, especially this time of year where it's in, getting colder in the mm -hmm. Northern Hemisphere. And, it, and it's stinking cute. It is adorable. So. Um, but Teresa in the Heart Hook Come Crochet Community Facebook group posted a picture of her Santa rendition and it was adorable and I was like oh my gosh Penny has to have this sweater <laughs> so I whipped up this which is the Santa version and it's freaking so adorable it's got this white fuzz on the bottom so cute and then I've got this one 
that is a little elf and a big elf, I guess. But I have the two little dogs. I have a five pound Yorkie and a 10 ish pound Yorkie. And I'm going to make them the elves and then have Pan San Penny be the Santa, if I can say it. Um, but I think that's gonna be adorable. You don't have to say it to do it. Right, that's true, <laughs> just keep your mouth shut, just crochet. <laughs> But it's going to be adorable. We've also had suggestions. I posted teaser pictures in the Heart Hook Home um, Facebook group and asking for other characters. So if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. But so far, we're going to do a snowman and I'm going to do a gingerbread man and mm -hmm. it's going to be adorable. It is. it is. So if you've got other suggestions, even other holidays, I should have done one for Halloween that's all black with black spider legs. Mm. I'm going to have to save that for next year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so if you've got you suggestions. Could do, you could do a turkey. Whip one out I could week. do, but I'm afraid that people wouldn't be able to get it done before it then. But it would still be adorable. It would. I could still make it and have it for next year. You know, we still eat turkey for Christmas too. That's true. That is true. Should I make a ham? <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> Just a ham hock. <laughs> a little ham tiddling down the sidewalk. <laughs> That'd be perfect. <laughs> awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, next episode, we'll have some more um, new patterns and updates to patterns that I have existing already on the Heart Hook Home blog that have drastically needed to be updated. So I'm looking forward to that going through and just keeping everything fresh and new and yeah, yeah. updated going to be a fun, exciting, it's exciting season. It is. It is. It's exciting. We've got so. great things. Yes. Plan. It's gonna be amazing. It will. Yes. So I want to say thank you to Sarah for joining me. This is my best me. yarn friend, and we talk all things crochet and yarn and everything. Like all and day, every day. Constantly. It's it's, it's constant. Yeah. Sometimes I feel bad. I'm like, hey. Don't, <laughs> don't feel bad. <laughs> but it's great to have yarn friends, and I'm glad that you are here too. So we are all yarn friends together. So, yes, I will see you here in two weeks for the next episode of the Heart Hook Home Video Crochet Podcast. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Thank you.